this video I am going to discuss with you about the row echelon form of a matrix. So we are going to learn how to convert any given matrix into a row echelon form with the help of elementary row transformation. But before switching over to the process, let's identify that what kind of matrices are declared to be a row echelon form. So I have placed here some examples and all these examples of a matrix are of the question form so let's see that what is a speciality that this matrix is named as a question form so the point number one is when we apply the transformation and we get any row vanish that is zero row so all the zeros rows we place at the bottom that is the one point we should take care and apart from that when we see that non-zero rows are of what structure maintaining so the non-zero rows what we should say that uh, below every like here a11 the entry should be zero here it is a a22 below it all should be zero and so on so zeros are increasing step by step doesn't mean that always by 110 but it should increase the the every lower row before non-zero entry has a more zero as compared to the previous one so that is a one point by which we can identify so let's see in all the examples in my first example we can see that this is our focus because when we are applying transformation what are the point to be taken care the transformation should not be applied blindly without having a target in the mind the target in your mind should be that when you are applying a transformations these entries should convert it into zeros and you will achieve the Echelon form. Now see the second example. Here you are observing that below this A11, these entries are zero. This A22 is getting already zero. It's not an issue. But let's see that do we achieve that this below the diagonal? We uh, maybe we don't have a square matrix. So but it's a A11, A22. So that that entry is below it. Everything is zero. So yes, it is a row echelon form. When we see the third example. Here you are observing this part. This part is to be converted as zero. And when you achieve it, it means row echelon form is achieved. So in this example number four, we are observing below this A11, A22, A33, they are all zero. And yes, it is an row echelon form. Here below A11, A22, below A33 entry. These are, I am talking about the position of the point in the matrix. They are all zero. Yes. So, by saying uh, below A11, A22, A3, what does it mean? I am saying that zeros are increasing when we are moving from top row to the bottom. It, it looks like a ladder. And uh, all the entry below the ladder should be zero. So, let's see one example wherein I am going to convert a matrix into a echelon form row echelon form so this is i have taken a three cross four matrix and uh, i am going to apply a transformations so what i have seen that this is the row one this is a row two and this is a row three and i am going to apply a row transformation so what i'll do that my target is that i am going to use this entry to make all these number to be zero so my targets are these numbers my target is this two my target is this one so while making them zero obviously the whole row will get affected so the row echelon form while converting one should have a clear uh, point that what we are going to go do ahead so my targets are with me so what i have taken that my first transformation is that i am going to apply in R2 so I am fixing this R1 and I'm going to use all the entries below it so in my R2 which is 2 in number if I multiply two times uh, sorry let me make it yeah what is the point that I am going to subtract two times R1 so obviously 2 minus 2 becomes 0 and in my R3 what is my target that I'll subtract directly R1 I'll get a so this is the point so let's see 
so I have used the row number one so row number one I am using so this is not to be changed row two and three are the target row so as a observing what is that so let, let me write over here this is two this is three this is four this is five I am taking minus times R2 so this become minus two this is minus four this is minus minus become plus so it is minus two into one and it is minus two so when I do this activity I get zero here I get three minus four is minus one here here four plus two is six here and here five minus two is three here come to this point so one minus one is zero four minus two is two 13 minus minus become plus so it is minus 12 and here minus 5 minus 1 is minus 6. Uh, I did this activity if anyone is having sometimes confusion in addition subtraction it should be done very carefully so you can do like that also. So I, I made this one point now come to this next step is just like a letter I'll go to this point. Now I want to make below, I achieved one line that below A11 I made all 0. Now I will go to the A22 element and here A22 element is minus 1 and I want to make this, my target is this number. I want to make this to 0. So as per the target, once row 1 job is done, we are not going to even use it. Now it is all between row 2 and row 3 activity is going on. So let's talk about the transformation. I want to make 2 to be 0 using minus 1. So this is my third row. So what transformation I am going to use? In a third row, I should add 2 times the row number 2. So let's see what happened. Here I have this 1, 2, minus 1, 1 carry forward this second row I am using so I am not going to do any changes there because only third row is my target row which is going to be affected so what I did I have taken this number 2 this is minus 12 this is minus 6 this is my R3 and uh, I am adding this double of it so 2 times 1 is minus 2 2 times 6 is 12 2 times 3 is 6 and I am adding them so this become this this zero is already zero so let's copy it and you are getting it 2 minus 2 is 0 minus 12 plus 12 is 0 and 6 minus 6 plus minus 0 so let's see one of the row got 0 and it's in the below let's see whether I achieved below a11 below a22 this these are the three zeros and yes so we got the row echelon form of our current question I hope you have understood. Thank you.